Welcome everyone to another James Bond GeoGuessr video. Now, for all of those who are thinking, wait a minute, didn't you do something like this last week? What happened to your regular stuff? Not to worry, this is not gonna be the new content or anything. This is just me having a little bit of fun in between videos. The regular stuff is still coming up. Uh, we recorded the Octopussy movie reaction the other day this week and uh, it's being edited as we speak. There's just a lot of stuff coming up onto my schedule. Uh, a trip in Sweden is planned this weekend because my parents moved from the Netherlands to Sweden. So I'm uh, visiting my folks for the first time in six months. Uh, which is very exciting. So um, lots of my days are being taken. So I'm trying to do something because I didn't want to give you an empty handed weekend. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, last week we did try to beat a record in this game with seven bond locations. Which was fun but may have not been the most fun to watch for everyone. Because it was just me click point zooming in. And I'm, clearly I've practiced the seven locations to try and beat the record. Now I'm going in more blind. We're doing 172 bond locations and we're guessing at the top of my head. Um, I may allow myself a few hints if I really have no clue, like I'd say one Google search to help me. We're not playing competitive, of course, but we'll see. We'll try to refrain from that as much as possible. Now, as you can see, I have played this, but I'd say only twice. So out of the 172 locations, I've only seen like 10 of them. So this is definitely pretty blind going in. So uh, let's just take a look at James Bond location number one. Okay, location number one. This seems like Monte Carlo, Goldeneye, um, clearly. Yeah, I'd say this is Monte Carlo. So um, that's an easy start, I'd say. So we're zooming in to that location now. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let me see here. Nice, a little bit up. There it is. Yeah, this is Monaco. Now this picture was taken from like the water here. Let me let me see. So if we yeah, so you won't get the pitch perfect spot, but it's somewhere here. Yeah, okay, so they placed me more in the harbor. Makes sense. But we were in the correct position. So, so far, so good. Let's move on to the second location. Must be Switzerland. This could either be from Majesties, which I think it is, or the world is not enough, maybe which was supposed to be in Azerbaijan. I'd say this is Switzerland. <clears throat> Assuming that was filmed there, which I think it was. So I know the Piss Gloria location from the last time. Uh, burn it here. But this could have been an entirely different location, which I'm not aware of. So Piss Gloria is... Um, here but I don't think so it should be in this vicinity I assume let's just click in this region and see if we were correct okay it's far more east it's still in Switzerland we were in the correct country but this was actually filmed right over here at Peace Corvage who, who knew so correct country, but definitely a lot for farther east from Peace Gloria. So in the movie, like Bond just came out of Peace Gloria and started skiing. But in reality, they recorded that a lot, uh, a lot further east. You learn something every day. Okay, we're just dropped into the third location here. Number three, Hotel Schweizerhof. That looks to me... Uh, okay, there's a Swiss flag and Swiss should give it away. We're in Switzerland again, just like the previous one. However, um, which city? It says Bern. When was Bond in, in Bern? Maybe in Majesties when he was trying to find the vault that 
that Blofeld had was that dislocation. It looks far different. So it doesn't immediately ring a bell. Um, but I'd say we should take a look in Bern. So moving back to the original spot here. Um, so we're going to look in Bern. Hotel Schweizerhof. That's hard to find. Let me get the map up. So maybe it's more makes more sense to look for like a big square. Um, what's what's over there? Hmm. Okay. So I'm not gonna do make this video too long of me searching the exact street because I know that could be boring. This looks like more like a park. Um. So let me first get the ac architecture of the actual place. There should be Starbucks. This is all like the middle of the sand. This is why I prefer satellite images because you immediately can notice like, oh, there's a square. It's much simpler than the map. Um, but I, I don't want to cheat too much. So Bern Bahnhof, that looks, that looks like it could be here. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click burn and see, unless I see anything particular standing out more, because I don't know about the square. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click the middle of burn, see if we were at least in the correct city. We were, and we were just off. So we clicked literally in the right place. And there it is, Schweizerhof. I didn't spot it, but we were still, my hunch was correct. Moving on to location number four. Um, this is the, this is the Eiffel Tower. Are, are we on top of it? Like from a view to a kill, right? I can't, yeah, this is the Eiffel Tower. All right, so easy location. This um, this wasn't too hard. I've actually visited it last month. Uh, we went to Disneyland and here is the Eiffel Tower. Now, I don't know about the correct place, but I'd say there. Yeah, correct. That was an easy one. Cool. Moving on to bond location number five, the last one of this round, and this does not ring a bell at all if I think bond locations I'd say the desert in Bolivia quantum of solace or assuming that was even filmed in Bolivia or Egypt but this does not look like Egypt to me from the spy who loved me so I, I I'm leaning towards Bolivia but let's take a look at the cars if I can get some information out of that those are european cars so this can't be like license plates are european as well so this this i won't say this is bolivia anymore then but it does not look european at all and you know i'm just assuming these are european what is this like the the Rocky Mountains here, uh, not the Rocky Mountains. I mean the the shapes of the rocks. It almost makes it look like, you know, it could be in this region, like here, which I know it isn't, because um, we're doing bond locations. But maybe this again. This could be really obvious to people watching now. Uh, wh which movie would have was would this have been? Um, and I'm so confused by the European cars. When when did Bond visit such an empty location? And and what about this particular part? What what makes this this mountain a Bond location? I'm so confused. Can I read that sign there? That could be helpful. This one is difficult, isn't it? Hmm. Come on, let me get closer. Let me see what the sign says. Ah, oh, and they blur it when I get close. 
Okay. Cabezo de las Cortinillas. It sounds Spanish. It still does not ring a bell as a bond location. So, I have no clue. And I don't want to cheat too much. Um, let me know in the comments which bond location this is. Um, clearly, maybe Bolivia was filmed in a different country. Maybe they, they used it for that. Or it was in different bond media. Or I just blanked out on a completely obvious location. Either way, this is probably going to be the most um, embarrassing guess. But I'd say somewhere in Spain then. It was, and I was close again. So looks like it wasn't embarrassing at all. I was actually really close. Um, just deducting this from the, the European number plates in the Spanish language. But still, which movie was this? I have no clue. So, I think we have time to do a second round over here. Um, moving back to it. Okay, we looks like this is the Millennium Dome in London from The World Is Not Enough. That should not be too difficult. It's very easy to spot on satellite. It might be a bit more difficult um, in real life. Now, clearly you Londoners are going to be really uh, aggravated with me that, I'm, that I have to search this. So, I know from satellite images I can easily spot that quicker. Um, so Bond in the movie, he skips through to here, and then he ends up in front of the Millennium Dome, I, I'd say, on one side. Um, this is the thing, right? This is, is this the thing? Thames, is, are there, are there two bridges in front of that? No, it's more, it's much more empty. And the U2, is that, is that what it's called now? Maybe we're here. Let me let me take a guess. Yeah, we were. Uh, we were more there, but this was indeed what I was searching for. Wow, this this place has stumped me. Okay, so these are Italian license plates. I can tell because there's blue on both sides. And usually the front plates are a bit smaller. So I know that much. This is Italy. Could this be the beats where Roger Moore drove out in The Spy Who Loved Me? That would make this Sardinia. Right? So. Yeah, this is an Italian license plate. I know that. This is Italy. It doesn't look like any other location that comes to mind. Like Cortina is in the snow. It's not Venice. It must be Sardinia. And we're facing west. So that would make it the west coast of Sardinia. Um, somewhere here. If I... Yeah, Sardinia on the west. Somewhere on the west coast of this place. I don't know which particular coast. It, there is like an in little bay, so that could be, no, that's far too big. Must be a lot smaller. Yeah. We're, we're going to play the west coast of Jordania. It was, but not on the west coast of Jordania. They filmed it here. Spiaggi di San Nicola Arcella. So this must be where they filmed Spy Love Me coming ashore. I didn't know it was on the mainland. In the movie, it was supposed to be Sardinia. I know that. I don't know. remember Bond visiting this place, but the more you know. So, I guess uh, we learned something. Assuming this was from the Spy Love Me. Maybe I missed something. This looks to me pretty well. Let me see. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is London again. Tower Bridge. When was Bond in this particular point? Oh, I guess it's still a Bond location, but back to London then. Um, 
Foxhole. That's the where the MI6 building is. Lambert Bridge, I think Westminster, Waterloo. That's not the one, I think it's more here. London Bridge, that's the one, right? Or is it called Tower Bridge? Yeah, Tower Bridge, that's the one. Okay, and we are southwest of that, so we should be here. Which we are. Correct. Okay, easy, does it? This looks to me like it could be Gibraltar from the Living Daylights. But don't quote me on it yet. I need to see it from a different angle. But it, that's the first thing that springs to my mind. Gibraltar. Just the, the shape of these rocks. They scream the Living Daylights and John Barry's opening music. Yeah, this is taking a while to load. It's, yeah. I think we're going to take a guess that this is Gibraltar. We're, when we look to the west, we see the rock, so we must be on the east side of it. So let's go back to the original location. And when we look northwest, we're on that rock, and here is water. I might embarrass myself completely here, but this seems so much like Gibraltar. But where, though? Is there like a harbor here? I don't know. Halfway bridge. I've never been there, just assuming. So, this should be the correct location, but I want to... Because clearly, that's the ocean. The ocean is east and south, so we should be more here, on this side. There is a harbor here, east side jetty. Does this look like it could be the east side jetty? I don't know. Either way, and there's a little town. Um, does it go to a roundabout a little bit there? Yeah, I don't want to go all the way there. You know what? We're just going to guess Gibraltar and I'd say we're, we're somewhere here. Oh, we were much farther up north, but we were in fact in Gibraltar, but... Oh, right. So this is, this is the little town that we saw. And this is the rock over here. So this is... On satellite images, it's a lot more easier to see, but I'm making excuses now. So a little bit off, but overall correct place on the planet. James Bond location number five for now and this is a casino but it could be anywhere so the Casino Royale maybe the one in Macau the the does the, 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 there are Asian people around but that's not really a teller is it there's a lot of Western people around too so Shall we go Montenegro? Was that casino even in Montenegro? Is this the one in Portugal uh, where Fleming burned? And I can't walk around either. So this is just going to be as blind as it is. Maybe it's the casino where Fleming learned how to play, you know, in es Estoril or something, I think. I don't know where that is, though. I'd say he somewhere on the west coast, Estoril or something. Or is it Montenegro? If that was filmed there. Uh, there doesn't seem there don't seem to be a lot of Portuguese looking people. I'd say we're in Montenegro. But no. In the movie it was Montenegro. In real life it was filmed in Czech Republic, Calioveri, Calioveri something. Here, Calioveri. Calioveri. Right? Right, now this is another one. Um, I know Casino Royale was filmed in this town. I don't know if it's the casino from Casino Royale. I don't know if that was filmed here. So I could be completely making an idiot out of myself here. Um, 
and I want to look at this from satellite images. It's just so much easier to find places here because now I'm just looking at, at street names, uh, and I don't, and that doesn't help me. So let's just click Calliovari and see how far we are off. You know, we were on the other side of the planet. It was in Las Vegas. Of course, it was. So much more obvious. Look at my reasoning. This was clearly an American casino too. Diamonds are forever. It came back to hunt me like it always does. Sorry for that embarrassing ending, guys. But we did find the place where Casino Royale was filmed. Clearly not the casino. Okay, this this um, must be Las Vegas once again, just like the previous round. This, this I think, was used for Willard White in that movie. Um, <clears throat> Westgate. So we're in Vegas, I'd say. So we're going back there. Uh, Las Vegas. Right. Uh, let me get the map up. So Westgate is probably... And it's probably on the older part of town now, not necessarily on this trip. Sorry, there seems to be someone crying outside, a little child. I hope this doesn't disturb the video. Um, hope the mother quickly comes to shut it up. Let me see. Uh, Westgate. Yeah. I've also never been to Vegas. Let me let me do a little not a cheating, but a little bit of helping. I guess it's a bit of a cheat. We're doing the regular maps just so I can speed this up. We're going to Vegas. We're using the satellite. And we're taking a look at the town a bit more like this. That that way you can see the shapes of the buildings. And I'd say, is, is it this one? Phoenician Resort. No, that's not the one. Westgate. Uh... I'm learning something in this video at least too. What a place this is, right? So American, like everything just put together in one place. Yeah, we'll just have the Eiffel Tower in Vegas. Just put it there. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, they got all the everything here. Um, but where is it though? This is all the regular strip. Just trying to find the shape of that building. Mandela Bay. Looks huge as well. What a place. Um, no. And it used to be, obviously, in the early 70s, it was one of the most prominent ones. Whereas now, of course, you have the Mirage and the Bellagio and all the other places that stand out in Vegas. It's probably super obvious, too. Um, I don't know. Let's just not waste too much time here. We're going to go a little bit in the southeast of Vegas. It was in the north more, much more. All right, fair enough. Oh well. What is this? London again. That's the London Eye. Another world is not enough location, and that's the big band building. So that shouldn't be too difficult, right? Um, or is it?
the London Eye, I think, is somewhere here. Can't see it now, but it should be. Yeah, London Eye. So, is this the bridge that goes to the Big Ben? I've only been to London, like, in 2005 once, so... Um, I, I'm not as familiar to all my UK watches here. I know some, some the place somewhat. This is again so much easier on satellite. Let me just quickly get the place up. Uh, here we go. Come on, London. Load. Okay, so there's the London Eye. Part of London is still loading, but it already makes sense to me. Um, and we're seeing, yeah, so we're under that bridge, excuse me, this bridge. We're seeing the London Eye on the one side and we're seeing the Westminster building with the Big Ben, which was being renovated at the time, I see, um, from that side. So this is underneath Westminster Bridge here. And it is. <clears throat> okay. We are moving on to James Bond location number three. Oh God, this looks to me like Iceland. I have no idea where in Iceland, but this, this is where they filmed Die Another Day, clearly. Must be the car chase sequence. Now, of course, you know, finding Iceland is one thing, but finding what, finding out where, I don't know which lake, I don't know which place, I don't know if it was near the capital or on the other side of the island. All I know is it was in Iceland. So there's a big lake here. It doesn't look as big as that lake. It looks a lot smaller. A lot smaller, but I don't know. Let's not waste time and theorize here. Let's just click. All right, so they recorded it all the way on the east side of the country. The more you know. Now, this one has stumped me. Could it be Scotland from Skyfall? Or is it more like a Goldfinger type of place in Austria? Are these the Alps? It is European. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna play Austria. I don't know where. No, no, wait, not Austria. Switzerland again. Bond wasn't in Austria on that movie, it was Switzerland. Um, my friend that I'm meeting next week, he will know exactly where this is. I think he visited the place. Assuming this is Switzerland, maybe this is Scotland. And it's more like a, of a Skyfall location. But I'm going to play Switzerland. And I'm, I don't know where, so I'm just going to click. It was Switzerland. I was pretty near. But it's there. So the south of the country. And the last one. Oh, the golden eye dish. Look at how ruined that is. That is brilliant. Um, now, I know in the movie this was recorded in Cuba. But I know in real life it's not on Cuba, but it's on Puerto Rico. And I used to be able to find the place, again, with a satellite. I don't know in real life anymore. I think it was somewhere in this, like in this part of the island. Can't, you know, it, it will take me too long for this video to find the correct place, but I'm not falling for it being on Cuba as it was supposedly in the movie. I know it is on Puerto Rico. And I was close, but it's more west than I remember. There it is. The... Arakibo Observatory. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this little quick 
video of uh, me trying to guess bond locations. Let me know if you liked it, leave a comment, and who knows, I can do this more often. Like I said in the beginning, regular content is also coming up, but this was just me trying to guess a little bit of where I am. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!